And we are live. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It is my great honor and privilege to tell you that we have discovered the true identity of the person who whipped Danny Masterson's ass in the middle of Sunset Boulevard on October, uh, October 2001. And it was professional hockey player Chris Chupp. That is how I'm pronouncing this name. I would have said Shoop or Choop, but I found a video of him speaking and he said Chup. So I'm going with that. Um, for those of you who watched some of my previous videos, I speculated that it, it looked like it had been Benjamin Bratt. Uh, the story, this is a story that has been told by Jane Doe 3 in the Danny Masterson trial. And the story was being told in the context of... Um, uh, there was sort of a period, uh, Jane Doe 3 was in a long-term relationship with Danny Masterson. There was a period, there's many rough periods, but she was testifying as to what the cause was of one of these rough periods closer to the end of the relationship. And it had to do with an incident where Jane Doe 3 and Danny Masterson had met up uh, at the Standard Hotel on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood. And they were meeting Jennifer Esposito. And um, remember, Danny Masterson and Jennifer Esposito had been in a movie together, Dracula 2000. And it wasn't quite clear if this was like a movie meetup, a cast meetup, or just a friendly meetup. Anyway, Jane Doe 3 goes on to tell a story on how they're, when they're leaving the hotel, there was paparazzi outside and Jennifer Esposito and whoever she was with in a relationship with at that time was walking in front of them. And Danny Masterson was verbally accosting Jennifer for, for minutes on end, being very derogatory, um, being... Uh, I guess you could all say uh, sexually derogatory. And that after several minutes of this, whoever Jennifer was with turned around and beat up Danny Masterson and dragged him into the middle of Sunset Boulevard and kept beating his ass. And, uh, and, and I could not find out, figure out who this person was. And, and it seemed like she'd been dating Benjamin Bratt close to that time. Anyway, it was Chris Chubb, professional hockey player, Chris Chop, of course it's a hockey player who turned around and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> now, Chris Chubb at this time would not have been an active professional hockey player. I, I spent some time looking him up because I'd never heard of him. And he was drafted. Actually, let me just, uh, I forgot. Let me, let me share with you a little bit. Let me share with you some photos of Chris Chubb. I cannot imagine what Jennifer would have seen in a guy like this. I mean, you know, I'm not gay, guys. <laughs> but I might go gay for the stay with Chris Chubb, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> that'll get this video demonetized um so uh a, a definitely a good looking dude here and uh and he did get into acting and that's actually probably really how jennifer met him let me uh uh stop sharing this screen and i'm going to share a different screen with you guys all right so, yeah, he was drafted in 1990 for the with the Calgary Flames and spent a couple years bouncing around to some minor league teams before um, retiring from hockey. And there's this really funny story I found in this article where he uh, he explains how he actually got into acting and modeling. And let me see. It might have been a different article that I found it in. I won't spend too much time looking for it. But essentially, yeah, so here it goes. Here it goes. I was sitting in a restaurant with a few guys drinking beers at brunch, and a guy walked up to me and asked if I did any modeling and was interested in a campaign with Kate Moss. I didn't even know what a campaign was. And uh, he didn't even look at the business card that the stranger had left until his friends pointed out his brush with greatness. Uh, anyway, the, the guy said, if you change your mind, give me a call. I put his card on the table and resumed talking with my pals. When one of them asked, do you know who that was? And I said, probably some guy who works at Calvin Klein. And it turns out it was Calvin Klein. I didn't even know there was an actual person named Calvin Klein. That is really funny. He and Klein hit it off in a subsequent conversation, opening the doors for a 22-year modeling career that has taken him around the world. Within months, he was the face the male face of a worldwide campaign alongside Moss for a fall winter collection. The first of many he's modeled in ever since. Amazing. Now this article I'm reading from was written four years ago in 2018. So I wonder, 
let me say, I don't know. Do you guys recognize him from modeling things? Or it looks like he had a role in the TV show Sex in the City. And uh, so it makes sense that uh, one can understand how he would have wound up meeting Jennifer Esposito at some point. So Chris Chubb is a real true American hero. One of the few, uh, if, if one of the only who stood up to Danny Masterson and beat his ass when appropriate to teach him some appropriate behavior. It breaks my heart to tell you guys that Chris Chubb passed away 11 days ago. Oh, it's just so sad. <clears throat> From ALS, degenerative disease. I believe ALS is what they call Lou Gehrig's disease. And he was either 50 or 52. I get different info at different sources. Anyway, this is the down <clears throat> downside of doing a live stream. But in his honor, all right, let's have a little toast to Chris, a true American hero who left us way too soon. All right, everyone. That's all I wanted to share with you. Join me later in about four hours. I'm doing a live interview with Mike Render. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Talk to you soon.